Hey guys, what is going on? It's Robo here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Zetsubo no Shima Easter egg. This Easter egg can be done with anywhere from one to four players. Now, this is going to require you to build everything possible on the map. Um, however, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to build everything. I'm only going to show you the steps required once you do have everything built. If you do need to know how to build everything, I'm going to have those tutorials linked down in the description. Just for the sake of keeping this tutorial as simple and as clean as possible. So before you even start the game on Zetsubo no Shima, make sure you have the Anywhere But Here Gobblegum. You will not be able to do this without it. So to begin, you're going to want to build the Skull of non Sapway while also in the process working on your three challenges that you have that you can find located on the totem pole. It is important to note that each player in your game is going to have to complete these challenges as well. So go ahead and build the school of non Sapway. Again, link in the description if you don't know how to do so. Grab your school and head over to the purple water room down here at the right of the entrance of the bunker. And you'll want to mesmerize this wall here, revealing this poster. And that is actually what marks the beginning of the Easter egg, and you're able to then begin working on everything else. So after that, go ahead and come up to this wall right to the left of the entrance of the bunker, which will reveal the machinery that we are trying to repair using three cogs, which is basically the entire Easter egg. Now at this point, you would have want to have been working on the KT4 build, which we are going to need in order to build a specific plant that contains an artillery shell that we are then going to use to shoot down a plane in order to get the final cog. Now since this does require you to build a specific plant, this is what you're going to want to work on first immediately after mesmerizing the poster, as well as working on getting the Masamune or the upgraded KT4 because they both require you to build plants. So in order to get the artillery shell, you want to plant a seed, water it with blue water, and then shoot it with the KT4. Now you'll want to do this for three rounds in a row shooting it with the KT4 and watering it with blue water each time. Basically what the KT4 does to the plants is it sort of upgrades them as you're growing them. Now since the artillery shell is not a guaranteed drop I would highly recommend you build more than one plant because if you do not get it you will have to plant another one and wait for three more rounds so it's best just to plant as many as possible. It would also not be a bad idea if you went ahead and fought the spider while you're waiting on your blue plant to grow just to get everything else out of the way. So after those three rounds are up, you can go ahead and grab your artillery shell and we're gonna want to wait to use that until we have the Masamune because it actually will not even let us use it even if we wanted to. So, if you remember me telling you that you needed to complete three challenges, well here's why. After everyone in your team completes all three of the challenges, lightning will periodically strike that altar there. What you'll want to do is get your shield electric by holding it out after the lightning strikes. And then you'll want to run over here to the zip lines over here at bunker A. And our goal here is to drop off the zip line onto a pier. Now, if you're solo, you want to do this by just simply knifing, or I'm sorry, electrocuting the panel. And then when you're over the pier, you'll want to melee. Do not do it early, or you will fall off, or late, or you will fall off, and you will die instantly. Now, if, if you are playing co op, um, this will be a little different. You'll want to hop onto the zip line and then have a friend electrocute the panel and it will knock you off. Now kind of communicate with them the timing because they, they can still knock you off into the water and you will instantly die. Now you do not need to time this early. For example, you do not need to hop off early. Your momentum is not carried so you'll just simply drop straight down. So just time it like that when you're exactly above it and then drop off. So when you fall down, you'll want to make sure you grab that cog there. Now just a reminder in case you are having issues getting that cog, it will not be there unless you have mesmerized that poster. That poster is what starts all of this. So sometime soon you'll want to make your way over to the spider cave, shoot down the webs with the KT4, and then you are going to want to kill the spider boss, and also make sure you have your anywhere but here. You don't have to have it before you go in there, but you just need to come into this cave and use your anywhere but here and you will be teleported into the secret room where the second cog is. Now the, it is not known if anywhere but here is the correct way to get into that room. There's speculation that there might be you know another way in 
because most people don't think that a gobble gum would be the only entrance in. But anyways, as far as we know, this is the only way in here right now. So you'll want to anywhere but here into this room and pick up that cog. And once you grab it, you are free to leave this room. And that being the second cog, we've only one more to go. The last one we are about to get using the artillery shell. So before we can do this, you'll want to make sure you have the Masamune, the upgraded KT-4. You'll want to grab your artillery shell if you haven't already. Head inside the bunker, immediately turn right, and you'll come up to the cannon. Now, there are two actions here. The first square will load the cannon, and the second square will fire it. So go ahead and load it. Now you will know you have it loaded when you walk up to the cannon and you hold square and you hear it click. If you don't hear it click it is not loaded and you'll need to make sure you have the Masamune or either make sure you have the artillery shell and then you'll want to wait on the plane to fly by. Now I would highly recommend you keep a crawler um, because it's a lot more difficult when you have zombies coming after you but You'll want to wait until the plane is lined up immediately in front of the cannon and you'll just hold square to fire and you'll knock down the plane. Now when you destroy the plane, you'll want to make sure you keep an eye out for something that falls out of it. It'll be smoking. Now this is going to be the third cog. It's going to land somewhere on the map. I literally was running a train around it the entire time because I didn't get to see where it had landed. So. You'll want to search around the map. It can literally spawn anywhere on the map. So just find that second or third cog, I'm sorry. Go place it into the machine and the elevator door will open up and you are ready to go down and fight the boss. Now, before you go down here, make sure you pack a punch, uh, grab you some good weapons, grab your skull, and grab a gas mask. You will need all of those things as well as the Masamune. You cannot, literally cannot defeat the boss without the Masamune or the gas mask because you will die if you enter the boss room without a gas mask. Now upon your arrival down here you'll want to pull out your Masamune and shoot each one of these glowing tentacle things and those glowing spots are exactly the uh, same spots that the boss has so make note of what those look like because those are what you are going to shoot in order to damage the boss. So when you arrive in the room, you'll want to start by going ahead and shooting his arms, and that will begin the fight. Now this fight will have several thrashers, spiders, and a couple zombies spawning in, so I would highly recommend you bring a shotgun, especially the haymaker. It also would have been a good idea to build an imprint plant, which literally saves your perks and all weapons and points you have at the time, so if you die, you will respawn with everything you had when you imprinted. And I was a noob and I imprinted with the KT4 instead of the Masamune so when I had died in the boss room I respawned with the KT4 and it immediately teleported me into the boss room and I could not damage him at all so make sure if you imprint you imprint with the Masamune or um, just make sure you don't die. Now. I did come back later with four friends and this was absolute cake. Um, this was the easiest boss fight ever. So basically the boss fight consists of defending yourself from thrashers, spiders, and a few zombies while also you just have to shoot those tentacle glowing spot things on his arm and they they come out about once every like one and a half to two minutes so you'll just shoot those you'll shoot his arms four times and that's pretty much it. You're done with the easter egg. You'll get this cutscene and uh, you'll get an achievement as well as some XP for completing the Easter egg as well as a perkaholic. And personally I think Treyarch has rewarded us with the easiest camping spot known in zombie history. So yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I will gladly help you. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.